haven't been having much luck making this video. <laughs> I was, I thought I was almost done with a bitchin' ass video and I looked down and found out my iMovie had stopped working about 12 seconds into it. So I'm almost out of scotch. And I'm already pretty lit. But I've been wanting to try this. Mississippi mud. It sounds crazy. So let's do it. I'm pretty lit. I gotta warn you though. So this may not work. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Ooh, it looks nice and muddy. Anyway, we're up to chapter 27, and I'm going to keep glancing at the counter because I don't know what's up with this computer. I restarted it, though. Yeah. I rebooted, so we'll see. A little taste of some Mississippi mud. Damn, I can't believe I'm doing this video over again. Much nicer than the name implies. Uh, black and tan, I'd say. Uh, not quite as uh, strong as that other stuff I had. Uh, what Celebrator? Uh, the Double Bach. I think I still got the little uh, thing next to my T Rex. I'll get my little uh, Capricorn. All right. <clears throat> anyway, let's get this Darwin Day video going. But behold, in the last days, or in the days of the Gentiles, but yea, behold, all the nations of the Gentiles, and also the Jews, both those who shall come upon the land, and those who shall be upon other lands, God, I may be drunk, too drunk to do this. <laughs> Yea, even upon all, all the lands of the earth, behold, they will be drunken with iniquity and all manner of abominations. Is this an abomination? <laughs> I'm getting... It's like about 4 o'clock. I'm still getting uh, sunlight through my window. <laughs> and when that day shall come, they shall be visited uh, of a host. Wait. Right. They shall be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and with a great noise and with storm and with tempest and with the flame of devouring fire and all the nations that fight against Zion and that distress her shall be as a dream of a night vision, yea, and it shall be unto them even as unto a hungry man which dreameth, and behold, he eateth, but he awakeneth, waketh, and his soul is empty, because he wasn't eating some soul food, which sticks to the ribs, you know, mighty, mighty tasty. <sighs> his soul is empty, or like unto a thirsty man, which dreameth, and behold, he drinketh, but he awaketh, and behold, he is faint. And his soul hath appetite, yea, even so shall the multitude of all the nations be that fight against Mount Zion, because... Fighting a mountain is a stupid thing to do. 
Hang on, I gotta pull the blinds. Well, my computer fucked up again a couple of times. I am really fucked up. And so is my computer. But anyway, let's try again. I got the first part. <laughs> I got up to verse three. <laughs> okay. For behold, all ye that doeth iniquity, stay yourselves and wonder, for ye shall cry out, and cry, yea, ye shall be drunken, but not with wine, ye shall stagger, but not with strong drink, I'll drink with that. For behold, the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. For behold, ye have closed your eyes, and ye have rejected the prophets and your rulers. Even when they don't agree with each other, you should not reject either one, apparently. And the seer hath he covered because of your iniquity and it shall come to pass that the Lord shall bring forth unto you the words of a book And they shall be the words of them which have slumbered, all the people mentioned in this book, who are never lived, but they're dead. And they're whispering from the dust or the ground. Uh, for behold, the Lord hath... Wait, deep... And it shall come to pass, the Lord shall bring forth unto you the words of a book, <coughs> and they shall be the words of them which have slumbered. Those dead people who never lived, but they died in this book. And there's no other record of them or trace. And behold, the, the book shall be sealed. This one. And in the book shall be a revelation from God from the beginning of the world to the ending thereof. Wherefore, because of the thing which things which are sealed up, the things which are sealed shall not be delivered in the day of the wickedness and abominations of the people. Wherefore the book shall be kept from them. But the book shall be delivered unto a man. And, uh. Here's a picture of him J.S. Jr. <laughs> and he shall deliver the words of the book which are the words of those who have slumbered in the dust all these fictional characters in this book and they're dead now and he shall deliver these words unto another but the words which are sealed, he shall not, not deliver. Neither shall he deliver the book. This book. This gold book. For the book shall be sealed by the power of God. 
and the revelation which was sealed shall be kept in them kept in the book until the time until the until the own due time of the Lord and that may come forth for behold they reveal all things from the foundation of the world unto the end thereof and the day cometh that the words of the book which are sealed shall be read upon the housetops because he, they don't know about satellite TV and the internet And they shall be read by the power of Christ. And all things shall be revealed unto the children of men, which ever have been among the children of men, and which ever will be even unto the end of the earth. Wherefore, at that day, when the book shall be delivered unto the man of whom I have spoken, guy in that picture, the book shall be hid from the eyes of the world. This book. <laughs> that the eyes of none shall behold it, save it be that Three witnesses shall behold it by the power of God, besides him to whom the book shall be delivered, for they shall testify to the truth of the book and the things thereof. Uh, these three guys, and there's their testimony thereof, the testimony of the three the three uh, witnesses and the testimony later on of the eight witnesses many of them family members <laughs> the cream of the crop though uh oh yeah <laughs> they'll testify to the truth of the book and the things therein so you got their testimony right there. They they all agreed. Uh, there's like, oh, 12 people that agree so far. Maybe more. <laughs> that sounds unimpeachable. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Ah. Mississippi mud, mighty fine. Let's top that off. And there is none other which shall view it, save it be a few according to the will of God. Because while they want everyone to believe it, they don't want to make it easy for them to believe. They want those, that, that, the apex of gullibility. <sighs> yeah, only the, only the the most blatantly accepting of the sheep <laughs> are rushed into heaven. Yeah. Mutton without end. <laughs> uh, few shall view it, save it be a few, according to the will of God, to bear testimony of his word unto the children of men. For the Lord God hath said that the words of the faithful should speak as if it were from the dead. Wherefore the Lord God will proceed to bring forth the words of the book, and in the mouth of many witnesses, as seemeth him good, will establish his words. About eight more. Well, there's three, you know, and eight, and Joe, and I don't know, there's his dad, and the Whitmares, and many family members. You know. 
kind of sounds like a hillbilly hoedown, but they're apparently good witnesses. And you can find them in the end of uh, the beginning of these, uh, the older books at least, like this one, 1966 version. Wherefore the Lord God will proceed to bring forth the words of the good, and many witnesses seemeth him good. Will he establish his word? And woe be unto him that rejecteth the word of God. But behold, it shall come to pass... Room starting to swim, folks. Uh, that the Lord God shall say unto him to whom he shall deliver the book. That guy. Take this, these words which are not sealed and deliver them to another that he may show them unto the learned. That's so convincing. <laughs> yeah, learned is saying, read this, I pray thee. Your yeah, friend of a friend wants to know what you think because you're learned. <laughs> <laughs> and the learned shall say, Bring hither the book, and I will read them. And now, because of the glory of the world, and to get gain, will they say this, and not for the glory of God. And the man shall, s and the man shall say, I cannot bring the book, for it is sealed. And uh, then shall the learned say, I cannot read it. Aha! Fell for their trap. Can't read a sealed book that they won't present. Just look in your hat. Get, a, get one of those magic rocks and look in your hat. And you can read it. <laughs> Wherefore, it shall come to pass... Or up to verse 19. We're getting there. That the Lord God will deliver again the book and the words thereof to him that is not learned. That'd be J.S. Jr. And the, man, and the man that is not learned shall say, I am not learned. It's like, Mom, and I can't read. Well, you're the prophet, so find somebody who can write. What a shame, you know. You couldn't have picked a guy who could already write and make him a prophet. Yeah, so nothing's lost in the translation, folks. I mean, isn't that terrible? Yeah, stick to the King James Version. And uh, I don't know about the Quran. I mean, what... Yeah, I guess just whatever Arabic or version they find, they kills the other one off. We'll, just, we'll agree with that version. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, wherefore, it shall come to pass... Uh, well, that the Lord God will deliver again the book and the words thereof, that it... it <laughs> I am not learned. All right, there we go. Just like Moses going, you know, I kind of stutter a bit. You know, I got an uncircumcised tongue. Well, <clears throat> my computer just shut down on me when I was in the middle of a tirade. So, I'll just move on. So, I was making a point about how Joseph Smith is a dumb farm boy. Muhammad was illiterate. And Moses uh, apparently stuttered or stammered or and needed Aaron to help him. <laughs> Just 
make it a point. You know, why would God go to such, well, such lacking uh, messengers, you know? <laughs> why not get somebody who can do, who can actually read and write, think. All right. Then shall the Lord God say unto him, the learned shall not read them, for they have rejected them, and I am able to do mine own work. Wherefore, thou shalt read the words which I shall give unto you. Touch not the things which are sealed. For I will bring them forth in mine own due time. For I will show unto the children of men that I am able to do my own work. Wherefore, when thou hast read the words which I have commanded thee, and obtained the witnesses which I have promised unto thee, thou shalt, uh, then shalt thou seal up the book again. And hide it up unto me, that I may preserve the word which thou hast not read, until I see fit in mine own wisdom to reveal all the things unto the children of men. For behold, I am God, and I am a God of miracles, and I will show unto the world that I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I work not among the children of men, save it be according to their faith. So, you know, if, if you're gullible enough, the magic's gonna work. If you're skeptical, <laughs> makes me think of that movie Eric the Viking, where they're uh, going through the, this, they're in this ocean voyage, all these Vikings, and one Christian missionary, and they're seeing giants, you know, and demons out of Norse mythology, and the Christian's like looking around going, I don't see anything. <laughs> I just think that's cute. <laughs> and again, it shall come to pass. that the Lord shall say unto him that shall read the words that shall be delivered him for as much as this people draw near unto me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me but have removed their hearts far from me and their words towards me is taught by the precepts of men. Therefore, I will proceed to do a marvelous work uh, and a wonder, for the wisdom of the wise and the learned shall perish, and the understanding of their prudence shall be hid. And woe unto them that seek, seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? And they also say, Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. But behold, I will show unto them, saith the Lord of hosts, that I know all their works. For shall the works say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he hath no understanding? But behold, saith the Lord of hosts, I will show unto the children of men that it 
is yet a very little while and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field. And the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest. That'll be the day. And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book. And the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. And the meek also shall increase, because they breed like bunnies, those meek. And their joy shall be in the Lord. And the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For assuredly, as the Lord liveth, they shall see that he see that the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. And they that make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Therefore thus saith the Lord who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob, Jacob shall not be ashamed, neither shall his face now wax pale. But when he seeth his children, the work of my hands, in the midst of him they shall sanctify my name, and sanctify the Holy One of Jacob, and shall fear the God of Israel. They also that erred in spirit shall come to understanding, and they that murmured shall learn doctrine. And I made it through chapter 27, where Joseph Smith predicts himself and this gold book, in this gold book. That's one of the most profound prophecies I've ever heard since, since Jesus predicted Muhammad in the Quran, but nowhere else. Just amazing. See, I mean, it's so easy to have faith. Oh, check out what I got at the thrift store. I'm going to have to look into this pretty soon. It sounds ass clown crazy. <laughs> uh, but I got, oh, I don't know, a couple hundred more chapters to go. <laughs> Each one probably a video. So, that's enough silliness. Have a happy Darwin Day, people. Thanks for sticking with me. And, uh, you know, what the fuck. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is. And peace the fuck out.